author, Grace Lynn, and this is my new novel, The Starry River of the Sky. So this book, The Starry River of the Sky, is not a sequel to Where the Mountain Meets the Moon. I like to call it a companion book. Uh, that's because it takes place in kind of the same universe. It has folk tales and fairy tales interwoven into the book. Uh, it's in full color illustrations, just like Where the Mountain Meets the Moon. But the main character is completely different, and it's a whole new adventure. However, there are some characters in Where the Mountain Meets the Moon that you might recognize in The Starry River of the Sky, but I won't tell you which ones. When I wrote Where the Mountain Meets the Moon, there were many, many stories that I wasn't able to use that I loved. There are lots of folk tales and fairy tales that I really, really fell in love with that just didn't fit into the story of Where the Mountain Meets the Moon. So, I started to construct a new story where those stories would fit, and that became The Starry River of the Sky. Also, when I wrote Where the Mountain Meets the Moon, I became really, really intrigued by some of the minor characters that I created. In Where the Mountain Meets the Moon, there's a character called Magistrate Tiger, and he's actually the villain of the book. And in one of the stories about Magistrate Tiger, I wrote this line about his son, and I say, his son was nothing like his father. And after I wrote that, I thought, huh, that's really interesting. Why is Magistrate Tiger's son nothing like his father? How is he different, and why? And so that kind of inspired me to write The Starry River of the Sky. This book is actually the story of Magistrate Tiger's son and why he's not like his father. In Where the Mountain Meets the Moon, Min Lee's name is really important because it kind of hints at her character. Her, her name Min Lee means quick and clever, and that kind of tells you about her personality. I do the same thing with the names of the characters in this book, too. The main character of this book is Rendy, and his name means enlightened by benevolence, or it means taught by kindness, and that's kind of a hint of, of what's going to happen to him and his personality. Another character in this book is the young girl Peiyi. Uh, she's the innkeeper's daughter, and her name means upholding friendship. And that's a really good name for her because she becomes Rendy's good friend. Another character is Mr. Shan, and Shan means mountain in Chinese. So his name actually means Mr. Mountain, and that's a huge hint into his character. Madame Chang is named after the Moon Lady, Chang O, oh. and the Moon Lady legend is a legend that I used in my book, The Starry River of the Sky, and it's a very, very well-known legend, as are some of the other stories in my books, Where the Mountain Meets the Moon and Starry River of the Sky, uh, and I was a little intimidated to use it in my book because it is so well known. I was afraid that people who know the legend might be offended by the way that I adapted it. However, I did a lot of research and I realized that for all the stories that I've used, there are many different variations and many different retellings, and that the way that I told the stories were kind of just in the tradition of the storytellers of long ago. All storytellers add their own perspective, their own details, and their own ideas to these ancient stories. And I was doing the same exact thing. Um, even though these stories are, my book is inspired by these legends, I do have my own 21st century Asian American perspective on them. And I kind of hope that when people read these books, they realize and read them as kind of a modern take or a fresh twist to these ancient stories.